Does your work schedule along with family activities leave preparing meals at the bottom of your priorities? Preparing meals or even eating together as a family can become difficult. Despite hectic schedules, research shows that eating meals together as a family yields lasting benefits. Today on It's About You, Kathy Rosal Burns, Family Consumer Science Agent for Kenton County, shows us how we can prepare quick and easy meals together as a family and how everyone can share in the responsibilities. Well, Kathy, the idea of eating together as a family sounds like a great idea, but how can we really get mm -hmm. started? You're right. It's very difficult today. Gosh, we're busier than ever, and we've always been busy, but it just seems like it gets worse and worse all the time. Um, one of the first things is to um, kind of plan ahead as much as you can, maybe cook once and use it twice. Like, for example, on the weekend, you might grill some chicken or bake some chicken and then uh, do a little extra. And then uh, later in the week, you can use it for other things, little sandwiches, roll ups, a lot of opportunities there. Kathy, what are some other items that we could have in our food pantry or freezer for quick meals? Uh, you know, I think a lot of us, when we're driving home from work and thinking, what are we going to have? We think, oh, I don't have that and I don't have that. So yeah, if you keep basics, um, I always keep some canned vegetables, different types, canned fruits, beans, pasta, all those things that will last a long time on your shelf. You don't have to worry about them going bad and um, kind of begin with those and then most often we have frozen, maybe some protein of some kind, and um, buy produce different times during the week to keep it fresh. So all those things that you talked about can, can be in stock and, and fixed very mm -hmm. quick. Yes, yes, all those things. And again, most of us think it's quicker to drive through or run in, but often if we just, even, even like I said, driving home sometimes and thinking about what you're gonna cook, by the time you get home, if you know you have some basics, you can put something together pretty quickly. Well, Kathy, what are some tips to make sure that mealtime is actually a pleasant experience? <laughs> That's a very good question because all the pieces are there, but sometimes chaos reigns, doesn't it? Um, one of the first things is to get rid of the distractions. Turn off the TV, no texting, no telephones, no CDs, none of that. Um, because that allows time for the family to converse, to be able to exchange what happened during the day, and maybe just some situations that they might need some help with. Um, it just allows a sharing time that often we don't get in our hectic mornings and our busy weekends, and mealtime can really provide that. We know that parents or adults need to set the tone at a table, so mm -hmm. what, what, what are some tips? What do we need to do? Yeah, they should set the tone. Uh, first of all, by their behavior. Um, are they having good manners? That's the best way to teach good manners is to illustrate them. Uh, by what they're eating, trying new things too. Um, involving everybody in conversation, asking distinct questions to different people because often there's one member of the family that might be a little more talkative than the other and to include everybody. Kathy, it's been said that meal times can actually give kids an edge. Mm -hmm. What does that really mean? You have so many edges. <laughs> um, nutritionally, you know, we tend to eat healthier when we cook and eat at home, and also when we eat with the family. Um, again, by giving responsibilities, we can all contribute to that. But um, you know, most of us, when we eat out, we tend to not make as wise of choices. But when we're home, we can do that. Um, another thing is just the skills of maturing and helping your children. Like you said, get an edge. Um, language skills. You know, kids are picking up stuff from the family all the time. Um, how to be a good listener, good conversation, it increases their vocabulary. Um, also manners, you know, those are those kind of things that, um, again, give us an edge as we mature. Well, Kathy, you mentioned that you can fix meals quick and still be healthy. Mm -hmm. What are some ideas? You know what, I really like beginning with these wraps. They are everywhere now, and uh, you can get the white flour, but you can get these wonderful whole grain ones now that, that, that help us get more of our whole grains that a lot of us are missing. Um, I like to do cold dishes with these and warm. Um, I'm going to start with just making a cold wrap where uh, right now I've got some, uh, just some shaved beef from the deli, and you, know, you don't need much of this because we're going to put a lot of other good stuff in here. Uh, I've got some red peppers that I've roasted. 
and just by by uh, broiling those and peeling off the skin. Oh, it just helps so much. And then you can add all this other great stuff. We can put some spinach in there, some lettuces. Um, gosh, you know, whatever you have. That's what's so great about it. And what's so great is that these are kid-friendly as well as adult-friendly and, and a great way to add vegetables. Yes, too. it is. You can really sneak them in that way. <laughs> and, and it's fun and it's a, Quick and easy to go. Mm -hmm. Very much so. And so right now you can see I just mixed up some meat and veggies in there. Uh, sometimes I'll put just a little bit of light dressing on there. So some fat-free Italian, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor, not a lot. And again, sometimes I'll put carrots on there, whatever, often whatever is left over. Um, and then just wrap these up. So you've showed us not only a great way to have a quick meal at home, but this could also be a, a grab and go for oh, yes. parents or kids lunches. Yes, exactly. That could be wrapped up, put in a lunchbox, ready to go. We, the, the great idea on, on cold food items, but well, what about fixing something hot? Again, I love the wraps for that. Uh, most of us like quesadillas, and that's a dish that is so quick and easy at home and that you can um, really add a lot of other good stuff to it. Again, I've got a mixture of my spinach and my chicken. And I've also got some shredded cheddar cheese. So a great way to get some dairy yes, into the diet. That's correct. Then I love adding things like black beans to it. A little more protein, some fiber for us, great food. And if you like, some of this is kind of a Tex-Mex corn. And again, this would be a great thing if you had some leftover corn from the dinner the night before. And to me, it needs some red stuff too. Again, my roasted red peppers or some tomatoes would be great in here too. And we know that tomatoes are still in season this time of the year. Yes, so, so thankfully. A, a great <laughs> way to, to use them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy, you have a great variety of ingredients here. What are some other ways that we could combine these for meals. Okay, sure. Uh, not only a wrap sandwich, but gosh, we've got the makings here for a great salad, don't we? Um, we can start with our leftovers from our quesadilla mixture uh, with our protein and our spinach in there, and then add any of these great things to it. Make a, a wonderful salad. I've got some green chilies here. They add a little bit of zing sometimes, just a new flavor. Sometimes that's all we need. And then we can always take the uh, quesadillas and actually toast them and have a little, you know, a, something crunchy to eat oh, with the yeah. salads as that well. That would be great with those. I have taken those and just uh, lightly sprayed them with a real light cooking oil and baked them. And they do, they get nice and crunchy, cut them up, and they're wonderful little munchies with your salad. Well, I also see over there a beautifully baked <laughs> a ch a chicken. So this is just a rotisserie chicken that I did purchase but um, very reasonably, and then I got a pound and a half of meat off of it, so it's really going to go a long way. Well, you've, you've shown us a great idea that with all of these mixtures, one, it's healthy, it covers all the different food categories, mm -hmm. and just by being creative, we can get more than mm -hmm. one meal out, out of a variety and, and, and be fun as well. Mm -hmm. but, but very much so. For more information on preparing quick and healthy meals, contact your local Cooperative Extension office.